Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. We recently went past 200,000 subscribers on YouTube, so thank you so much for that. And you can consider this video a bit of a special. But the question I get asked the most on this channel by far is my opinion on what I consider the best antivirus software to be. I normally refrain from making these kinds of opinionated claims or statements. Instead, I like to do full in-depth videos going through these products, putting them through their paces, testing them against malware, ransomware, so you can see the results for yourself and make a decision. But to be honest, I am getting tired of the questions. So in this video, I'm going to rank order all of the antivirus products, or the popular ones at least, within these tiers based on the results on the PC Security Channel based on our tests. And if you would like to see a deeper dive or a test of one of these products, you can check it out using the link in the description, which will link to a playlist where we have done full reviews and cybersecurity tests of these solutions. But in this video, I'll just be ranking them based on how they've performed and the conclusions I've drawn from years of testing. If you disagree with the placement of any of these products, I will also be doing a live Discord session just after this video premieres. So feel free to join, let your thoughts be known, and you can also request a retest of any of these products if you feel things have changed since I formed my opinions. So having got that out of the way, let's get started. So first off, Windows Defender. I think this is the one that a lot of people will vary in their assessment of. I think back in the Windows 7 days, I would have called this a meme, but it has improved significantly with Windows 10 and 11. Some people think it's up here, but if you've been watching the channel and you've seen our ransomware tests, that is far from the truth. So I'm going to put it at C or not terrible. And I think this is a good baseline. Now, moving on, the next product, one of your favorites, McAfee. You know, the antivirus that comes installed with your laptop and the first thing you do is uninstall it. Is it a meme? Is it not terrible? Is it decent? Is it good? Or is it excellent? Unfortunately, based on my experience in recent times, I'm going to put this as a meme. Not just because of John McAfee, I think he's a great meme, but in general, the software is dated, doesn't perform very well. I would personally not bother installing this over Windows Defender, but Again, my last test was probably ages ago, so let me know if things have changed and I should take another look at McAfee. Next up, we have Avira, the umbrella. This is a very popular free antivirus program. It has great detection ratios and has a good base engine, but the UI is not great. It doesn't come with a lot of features in the free version. It doesn't have a lot of behavioral protection or intrusion detection systems. So I'm going to put this on par with Windows Defender or not terrible. This is because I feel Windows Defender is a lot more full featured in terms of all the capabilities it has if it's fully configured. Whereas Avira has a better detection rate out of the box, but not as many additional features. Next up, we have Bitdefender, and this is a product that does pretty well in our tests. In the default settings, it's typically very good, but the ransomware protection or the active threat control some of the behavioral capabilities are really useful, but at the same time, not perfect. So I'm gonna put this at good. Again, if you wanna see what my opinions are based off, please check out the playlist in the description and you'll find a full video of me testing these products. Next up, we have AVG, a popular free antivirus product recently bought out by Avast. It's kind of annoying in the way it advertises itself but it does have good behavioral protection. And I feel that puts it slightly above our contestants in the C category. So I'm going to put it at B. This is mostly thanks to identity protection, the behavior blocker, and the additional detection and protection capabilities that it provides. Now looking at Avast, same story. If you don't know, Avast recently acquired AVG. So they're both the same product essentially. Internally, it's the same software, same engine, same protection. They just have two different names still. Not ideal seeing an antivirus have PUP-like pop-ups on installation, but we're mostly ranking these by protection capabilities and not based on just how I feel about the product or their marketing strategy. So both Avast and AVG get a B tier. Now we're gonna move on to Kaspersky. Again, there's a lot of talks around 
surrounding this product. A lot of it is good, a lot of it is bad. I'm not going to go in speculation about its origins or any of that, but protection wise, I think Kaspersky without a doubt is one of the most solid products we've tested and has excellent ransomware protection. And if you get the internet security, and has application control, and most importantly, System Watcher, which allows you to roll back malicious activities. And it's one of the few products that even when you disable most of the protection features and the signatures still manages to stop ransomware entirely. And that is where I think it edges out Bitdefender. The zero day protection just manages to keep a clean sheet in situations where I've seen Bitdefender not manage it. So I'm going to put this in the S tier for that reason. Again, not a judgment on the company, but just the internet security product and how it performs when it comes to protection. Moving on, we have F-Secure. This is a popular product from Finland based on the Bitdefender engine, and it has very good behavioral protection as well. I'm going to put this in the same category as Bitdefender, which is A. Then moving on to Sophos. Again, very good signatures, Good behavioral protection, but not quite perfect. So again, I'm gonna put this in the A tier. Next, we have Malwarebytes. Now, a lot of you may know Malwarebytes, the free AV, and might wanna put it in S tier, but now, a couple of years ago, when this product initially got into the real-time protection space, it was not doing great at all, and it may have found itself in the bottom two tiers. But thankfully, since uh, version 4.1, they have actually improved their protection massively. And now I would consider the detection on par with other products like Bitdefender. And it has a lot of zero-day protection capabilities and anti-exploit features. They're not perfect, but they're pretty good. So again, I'm going to put this in the A tier. Next up, we have Norton. Now this is a hard one. Sometimes it wants me to call an expert to remove a file that I can just delete on my desktop. The engine just has weird issues that I can never wrap my head around. But at the same time, it has some very good zero day protection features, some of which do great, some of which not so much. So I'm gonna put this in the decent category. I think it's an improvement on Windows Defender, but not as good as some of the products in the category above. Now, finally, we have ESET. And again, ESET, pretty solid detection engine, has some additional features like intrusion detection systems and behavioral blocking. Unfortunately, they're not as good as some of the products in the top, but at the same time, I would still consider it an improvement on the baseline protection of Windows Defender. So I'm gonna put it in the decent category. Once again, this is based on last test results Feel free to let me know if you want me to retest any of these products soon. We have a lot of tests coming up for the next year and we will be doing more extensive tests as well. So now we'll be doing a lot of more red team tests where we'll be using our own simulated attacks to test these software. So a lot of action coming up on the PC security channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see that. But there you have it. That is my AV tier list. Please like and share the video if you enjoyed it. Also, as a 200k special, I'll be doing a Discord event this evening just after this video premieres. So check out the link in the description or the one on screen right now. And you can join me in voice chat on Discord. So you can ask any questions you have about this list or make suggestions or share your experiences with these products or make suggestions for future tests. You can also use this template. You'll find a link to it in the description. So you can make your own tier list of these products and share it. I'd love to see them on Discord. So feel free to post them there. If you have a different opinion, let us know. I'd love to hear the reasoning for it. Lastly, I really want to thank each of you, each 200,000 of you for subscribing to the channel. It really means a lot to me and I will try my best to deliver more quality content on cybersecurity because I feel there's such a need for it. So once again, thank you so much for watching. There's no sponsors in this video. You guys are the sponsors. And I'd love to hear more from you on the Discord, so use the link in the description and join us. This is Leo, and as always, stay informed, stay secure. Okay. When we were talking about the angle down to the airfield, right. we were talking about the circuit. Right. We walked, we got around, we got back to the airfield.